What's up guys? For today's video we're going to put to the test multi fill stove. So check this out, it looks pretty cool in the pictures. It also comes with one of these things and you'll need to buy separate camping gas like that. So let's open it up, see what's inside. Check this out, this is actually very beautiful and foldable. Oops, I should just open it like that and then, ah, it's stuck, there you go. You just unspin it and it will unfold all the way. This is pretty cool. So that way you can cook over here, put stuff up here or you can put directly on here like a teapot or something. And as you can see it's highly ventilated with a bunch of holes. You can stick a bunch of twigs in there and get the fire going. But also on the bottom right here you pull this to the side and then put this end into here and twist it back up inside here. Makes sense, right? Pretty awesome. There you go. And I think you're gonna spin right here. Yep. I wonder if there's a click or no. We just need a match or a lighter. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. All I have to do is just spin it. Oh, there you go. I just put the light out to here and now it's burning. You probably won't see the flames, but there you go. Let's try to boil water and see what happens. I have here half a pot of water, put it on top. Let's do it on max. Let's see how fast can it boil water. Wow, it's definitely cooking it really good. No problem, not suffocating. I like it. And if we out of gas, I can always use twigs. So within a couple of minutes I see some bubbles, it's pretty crazy. I have this older design that they have, you see it's the same one, it's just really old and I put it to the test a while back. Check this out, it does not have that uh, Leon notch. And I was like, whoa, did I forgot to put it to the test? But no, they did not have this hole before, so this is upgraded. And as you can see that stainless steel Works pretty good. This thing been outside for who knows how long, probably a year or two now, and it still looks beautiful. All I have to do is just clean it up from the dirt. So if you take care of it, it's going to stay looking pretty good. And check this out. We already have a boil. Honestly, this is really fast. Half a pot of water within like three minutes. Pretty awesome. By the way, with that kind of gas, sometimes depends what kind of gas you get. Could be a little bit slower. But yeah, we got full boil. This is amazing. And if you're out of gas, like I said, you can take it off, unplug everything, and use it as a wood stove. Look at the boil. That's a heavy, heavy boil. And let's say I want to really boil it up, make sure all the bacteria dies from there. And look at that. You got here. Super nice, heavy boil. That's what I want to see. Very nice stove. And I guess the other test I want to see how well it's going to do without gas. We'll just do the wood burning stuff. And we're going to use the fire starting matches like this. So that way it's a lot easier for me to light up this wood burning stoves. Okay, we got it going on fire. Put it inside there. And then we're going to add on a bunch of smaller sticks. So that way we're going to get it going on fire. Wow, it's already flaming really, really hard from the top. I like it. With that kind of flame, I can add on something bigger like this. Ooh, that's hot. Check this out, it's burning beautifully. So if you have a pot to boil water, it would be no problem. It's all concentrated in the middle right on a pot. But it's not really a grill. I guess it is because this whole plate will going to be heated up so that way you can put meat down here. What do you guys think? I guess the only complaint about this thing, it's quite heavy. But still, pretty awesome. Wood burning stove and at the same time gas stove. I like it, pretty unique. 